What's up, everybody? It's your favorite Saddle Dinosaur's favorite nerd. Today, we are looking at S.H. Figuarts Yoshi. There's actually a pretty cool story to how I came across this fella. I was at New Jersey Comic Con, or Collector's Con, rather, New Jersey Collector's Con. And Jay Ruse from Realm of Collectors was there, and he knew I was kind of starting this line. So he found him, and he said, look, they got a Yoshi over there. And I was like, all right. And he said, he's only 20 bucks. And I was like, all right. And he was like, give me 20 bucks, and I'll go get him for you. And I was like, fine. So I, I, gave it. I didn't want to spend any money while I was up there, but you know, duty calls, so, uh, yeah, so I got him, and I'm pretty happy, he's pretty awesome, uh, for a number of reasons, there's a couple things I wish were more, obviously, but overall, pretty cool, comes with a plethora of accessories, including a base stand with this articulating arm at two hinges here, you know, I like a stand for my figures, I'm a big proponent of such, there's a hole right in his nether regions, and you just plug that bad boy in there, and now you have a jumping Yoshi, no problem, so we'll set that to the side, that works fine. We have uh, alternate eyes. We'll take a look at them. You, you pop this whole section off here. Then you can remove these eyes. And you can replace them with these eyes. They both have that, like, SH Figuarts digital paint job on them. But you got three layers of blue. Uh, the, the lighter blue, I think, is shaded. And then you have the, the white pupil, the black, and all that. So they're, they're really well done. And then you put in the straight looking forward eyes if you want those. I like the eyes looking off in a direction, so I'm going to put those back in. And then we'll plug that four to four right back in there. Now, uh, we're going to get into the articulation and all the kind of good and bad that comes along with that. But I want to make sure I cover these accessories first. So this is a problem for me. I find it very difficult to get this piece out here uh, without popping the head off. But if you remove that piece, then you can put in uh, this piece, and I th that goes like that, and then you can tab the head back on in theory, yeah. And now you have the, the tongue, which is a little weird, not going to lie to you, a little strange, but, uh, but cool nonetheless. And then you can kind of get them... Uh, See, that's the only problem I have with that with that accessory is that you're kind of limited in uh, just how far you can kind of get him to go. But, you know, that ain't hateful. But let's get that out of there. We'll put the normal one back in because it is a bit strange. But it is, uh, I think that this piece actually comes through that slot there. I'm not going to do it. I think this is just one solid piece of plat. Oh, no, that's got a different part in there. You know, I wonder. I don't know. But it's just it's just this the color, no paint, and the red is painted on there, and that's all fine. Now, it comes with alternate hands in typical SH Figuarts fashion. So you can take off these hands and replace them with these. One is attached to this egg, the green paint on there is sharp as attack. And we'll put that on here. And then we'll put this on here. Oh my goodness. I'm not crazy about these these connector points here. They just they don't really uh, hold tension as well as I would like. I probably didn't have that one on all the way because now I'm like frustrated. There it is. Um, so let's get this up here. We'll straighten that elbow. Rotate that around. And then you just kind of gotta. Configure it the best you can to get him to hold it. And I'm having a little bit of a problem getting him to look like he's naturally holding it. You know, you can fake it. Uh, I'm, I'm sure there's a way. Let me see if I can. Yeah, I'm not able to get it. Um, that's a bummer. So, I mean, that's close, and I mean, you can fake it, but, I mean, even in the pictures on the box, they have him, like, one of these, happy for me, I got an egg, type of deals, but I really wish he could, like, hold it in front of him. I think that if it had a, a swivel here where this connector joint is, you could maybe get it, but either way, you can kind of, you can kind of fake the funk a little bit. And then, lastly, he comes with two saddles. Two additional saddles, one that's pinched so that Mario can ride. It has this translucent piece here. The red is painted on the white plastic. This is pinched a bit so that you can get Mario's legs nice and like uh, 
closer together and look like he's like jumping kind of off the saddle. Or uh, you can go with the more, you know, just having a leisurely stroll riding Yoshi. So how you do that is you remove this piece here. As you can see, this little armature here is on uh, two hinges, one inside and then one outside, and then this peg. And then you take there, slide that in. Oh my goodness, I just did it wrong. 50 50 shot. I'm terrible at 50 50s in general. Like, I usually will, will screw the pooch on a 50 50. I never enter 50 50 raffles or anything like that because I just know I'm not going to win. And then sit him down in there. Kind of the, the best you can. And now you got. Mario riding Yoshi now I'm sure if you mess with it a good bit You can get it in a in a you know a more secure better position, but all in all pretty cool and now we'll go over the figure So the head is on a hinge here and then a swivel uh, the swivel only gets you to here and there But I don't think you need any more to be quite honest and then the hinge gets you back to there Forward to there one thing they did that was pretty clever and thoughtful which I like seeing is this little horn here on his, or spike, whatever you want to call it, on the back of his head articulates forward so that you can get more of a, uh, of a downward angle. Um, otherwise, if this was you know locked in place, you could only go to there and that'd be the end of it. That also allows you to get the hinge for the head, uh, which I think is utilizing the same hinge. It's just that this is a separate piece on it, the mouthpiece. So you get that articulation there for the mouth. Pretty clever. For... The shoulders there, it's a ball hinge, uh, which gets you a, a bit of a butterfly, but not much because of the sculpt. And then a ball hinge at the elbow that gets you just shy of 90 degrees, pretty close. And then a ball hinge at the wrist, and that one swivels so you can articulate it you know, up, down, or in, out, right? No, maybe not. You know, if these ball, I wish these ball hinges in general, yeah, they're fixed. So it's just in out. If these ball hinges swiveled at both sides, it would allow you a lot more rotation there, and I think I would enjoy that more. Plastic here is white, I believe. So the green is painted, and then this is a separate green piece, the nose. And then, oh no, it's green and the white's painted on. Either way, it's good. It's sharp. It's so it's so sharp you can't you can't really tell. So that's good. And then the different green pieces, whether it be the ball hinge, the arms, the paint, whatever, it all matches up pretty well. So that's good. Turtle shell on the back looks good too. Really good likeness, I must say. Moving down, we got. I think it's just a ball joint, T jointed ball joints for hips. They get you out to there. And then forward to there because of the sculpt it kind of goes in a you know a round shape, which I think is fine. No knee, which may be for the best, just sculpt wise. And then you get a ball peg here at the foot, which gets you a little bit of a tilt and a little bit of a rocker, but nothing crazy. I will say that the boots look sharp. Uh, they the uh, they're the brown plastic and the yellow is painted on and even painted on the bottom, and it looks good. It looks clean. It looks sharp. It looks it looks smooth. Well done. And that is this fella. Final thoughts wise, I think it comes down to price. I got him for 20 bucks at a show. I can tell you that I feel like I paid in full. Totally worth it for me. Totally enjoy the piece at 20 bucks. The only other time I've seen him is in person is at Barnes and Noble and he's 35. Don't think I would feel as comfortable spending 35 as I would for 20. But for 20 bucks, I'm pretty happy. Now I know there's the other version that you can get at Toys R Us and they carry a whole bunch of them too. I'm not that pressed about the line. I just kind of pick them up casually as I have a couple spare dollars. I do need a Luigi now, obviously, and then a Bowser, and then you need all Bowser's kids, and then it just goes on and on, right? But all in all, I must say I'm pretty happy, and if you have uh, this is the Mario Brothers and you're looking at Yoshi, I'd say he's worth it at a, at a reasonable price. And if you're thinking about getting into this line, I would say I like him. And I know other people like the other line that you can get in, in your local Toys R Us. I've never messed with those, so I can't speak on them, but I can speak on these, and I enjoy them both. I got them both for 20 bucks, so 
that's about where I put it price point wise. The only real bummer about all this is that you know now my kids are interested in Mario Brothers and like they're finding out a little bit about the lore and so forth and now they want to play Mario Brothers but I always had to be Yoshi. Give me up Yoshi, get that mushroom! This is bullshit. But you take the good, you take the bad, you take the something there, you have the facts of life, right? So, thanks for listening, thanks for watching, until next time, take care. Ride. Yay! <laughs> Off you go. I'm